With the make ready board action set up, the next thing to do is to create our make ready template. The template is basically the collection of service issues and inspections that need to be generated every time you kick off the make ready process for one of your rental units. That's This is what's going to allow you to not have to manually add issues and inspections to the board. To do that, I am going to go to services and I am going to choose make ready templates. Now, as the name suggests, you know, these are general templates that can be utilized. You can make as many templates as you want. So you could have, I've got a one bed, one bath template. I've got a two bed, two bath template. I have, you know, in my example, the database that I'm using has a very mixed portfolio. So I have a make ready process for student housing, for commercial, for single family homes, and also apartments. So what I'm going to do now is actually walk you through the creation of a new template. Let's say that I also have a storage pod. So I'm going to create a real sort of like simple make ready process. So I'm going to click add in the bottom right corner because right now I do not have a template that would fit well for the storage pods that I manage. Um, I'm going to say this is going to be called pod turnover. This option right here says completion unit status. So if you are utilizing unit statuses in Rent Manager, then you know what those are, right? It's a, you put it on a rental unit and it tells Rent Manager, uh, is this unit supposed to be considered vacant for your reports? Should it be considered available? So could a tenant move into it? Can a prospect move into it? Um, so a lot of times people create a unit status called like make ready. Um, and so that make ready status would say like, yes, the unit is considered vacant. So when I run a vacancy report, I should see that no one's moved into the unit, but it's not available. I, if, if a unit is going through the make ready process, a prospect is not allowed to reserve it. You're not allowed to move a tenant in because the unit is not ready. So you could be setting those statuses. And this is saying that, well, when the make ready process is over, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to give that unit a new status? And so in this case, I'm going to leave it set to no status. So once the make ready process is over, I want you to wipe out the status on the rental unit because it'll be ready once again to go. So now down here at the bottom, I have my make ready items. So this is where I'm going to tell rent manager every time I have to make a storage pod ready for the next tenant, what do I need to do? So I'm going to come down here to the bottom. You'll notice there's an add button. So when, if you click on add, this is how you can add a service issue to the template. But the first thing that I actually want to do is have an inspection kicked off. So again, RM inspection is something that you would need to license um, so that someone could go out into the field with a tablet and complete the inspection that's being assigned. I'm going to click this drop arrow right here which gives me the option to not just create a service issue, but actually an inspection item. So I'm going to click on that. And this is me defining an inspection. But the first thing that it's asking me is which action should this inspection show up under in the make ready board? And I'm going to say this is under unit review. This is the very first thing. So then I am going to say which inspection template do we want to use? And it uh, it doesn't look like I have a great one for a storage pod here, but maybe I have one already defined for the unit. Um, so again, if you didn't have the right template that you needed, because you can see I have one for uh, dorms and single family homes and office spaces, uh, and you can also use the template that has been assigned at the unit level. So there's a field on the unit that says which inspection should you use. I'm going to say storage pod make ready. I could choose the inspector that should be doing this. So I could leave it unassigned or I could pick a particular person. So again, a lot of my make ready stuff goes through Nikolai Federick, who is my main service tech. I'm going to say this is a move out inspection. The default status is going to be new. And for those of you who have been working with inspections before, this option is brand new. 
but I think it's really important. So I want to highlight it here. New issues action. One of the things you can do with an inspection is create new service issues, which is nice, right? So the service tech is out in the field and says, look, the carpet needs to re be replaced. So they click the add issue button, and then that will import into Rent Manager a service issue that says, whatever, the carpet needs to be fixed. What we're saying here is that when this inspection is completed, if I had created five service issues, so I found five things wrong that needed to be fixed, uh, where should those service issues automatically appear in the make ready board? So I could say that, no, actually everything you find in the inspection should not be part of the make ready process. That's an option. Or what I'm going to say is that everything that I find wrong, I want to have show up in maintenance. So if I find that the, the dishwasher is broken and there's a window broken, all of those new service issues that get created are going to show up under that action. So I'm going to click Save now. So there, I have created that inspection. Now the next thing that I am going to do is I'm going to create a service issue for rekeying the unit. Now, if you'll remember, I had already created an entire action uh, for that. So I can say rekey. So this will fall under the rekey column. And I want to say rekey. Um, actually, I'm going to do two things. The first thing is going to be uh, delete gate code for previous tenant. So maybe I, there's a code that the uh, the tenant has to put in to even be able to get into the complex where all of the storage pods are. Well, that person is no longer going to be allowed in my complex, so I need to delete their gate code. I am going to say this is a to-do task. I'm going to say the priority is medium. Actually, I'm going to say it's high. The status will be new. The prop, the assigned to this is which rent manager user is going to be responsible for doing this work. So again, I could pick a particular user. If you leave it set to property default, that means that whichever rent manager user is defined as the like assigned service issues to person on the general tab of the property, that's who's going to be assigned this issue. I like doing that option, but again, it just depends. And I could even choose a vendor. But in this case, I don't, I don't need a third-party vendor. This is something that we control internally. I'm going to hit Continuous Add so that the service issue window stays open. And I'm going to hit Save. I'm going to pick Rekey again because not only did I want to change the gate code, but I actually want to rekey... Oh my gosh. Rekey the actual pod. So I've got a lock on the pod itself. And I want to throw that lock away and I want to get a new one because whatever, if the tenant jumps the fence and tries to get into this, I, I can't rely just on the gate code. I've seen it all. If you've had storage pods, I bet you've seen it all too. We've all seen storage wars. All right, so I'm going to say category for this is a maintenance task. Uh, the priority is going to be medium. I am going to say that Nikolai Federick is the guy who's going to go out to do that specifically. And, you know, maybe I buy the uh, the locks from Lowe's, so I could even put that vendor on there as well. So I'm going to hit save. I'm going to cancel out now just so that you could sort of see this as it's being built. So right now my make ready process has an inspection. I know that the ins the results of those inspections, the uh, the service issues will show up under the maintenance action, but I have two rekey tasks that are going to show up here as well. Uh, Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually create an action for cleaning. I'm going to say uh, I need to power wash the pod. I'm going to say that's a cleaning task. That's a custom category I had created. And then I need to fan the pod overnight. I'm also going to consider that a cleaning action. Fan the pod overnight. So again, just to be clear... The action is saying which column of the make ready board this issue will appear in. The issue is the actual name of the service issue. So these service issues will show up inside of service manager. I don't have to go to the make ready board to see them, uh, but the make ready board makes it easier to review. And I'm going to say that's also a cleaning task, low 
all of that. All right. I'm going to cancel that out there. A couple last little. items here 